Welcome back, darlings. This week I've got this wonderful speed yellow Porsche Boxster in for an enhancement detail and coating. First job though uh, is to clean the convertible roof and on that one I am using Built Handler Surfex HD at 20 to 1 or about 5%. I'm rinsing it off there with that black detergent nozzle first which is a free rinsing one and then giving it a high pressure rinse but with the pressure washer from a distance away as so as not to damage the fabric. In terms of the wheels, they're getting Built Handler Auto wheel and that was all that was needed. They were in really good condition. And that's a consistent theme throughout this car. It's an incredible nick and it's been well looked after. So the wash phase wasn't too intensive. So it's been foamed with Built Hamber Auto Foam at 4% PIR and then I'm going to wash it with Garage Therapy Decom Wash at about 60ml in that bucket there. Um, you'll see that I go around the entire car at the same height, so working top down before I go and do the very lower ends of the, of the car. And whilst I've got the same mitt as a CarPro Dab Dab, it's actually a different one I use on the lower ends. Here's the fallout remover, um, like the spilt hamper Corosol. I did a group test of those, you can see those uh, up here in the top right. Worth having a watch, it is the best one um, that I've ever used. And whilst this paint didn't look that bad, I was still surprised at just how much fallout came off the car. Now, claying time now, and I'm using ONR at 16 to 1 as the lube, and I'm using the Valet Pro uh, Orange Fine Clay Bar. I wouldn't recommend that. It's the first time I've used it. I won't be using it again. I'll go back to my uh, Built Hamber Fine Bar because that pulled off more of the contamination more easily. I had to really rub to get some of the very, very light contamination off with that clay bar. So I wouldn't recommend that one. What feels like a bit of a rare treat, I'm getting to do this in a garage uh, as opposed to under my gazebo. So, uh, taping up, now I'm doing a test spot with the uh, force rotation polisher from Interdetailing here. Uh, and I'm using Shell Concepts S20 Black and the Rupes Yellow Fine. It's the DA Fine foam pad. It's not the one for their force rotation gear driven one. So um, you could get even better performance or better pad longevity if you switch to that. But in all fairness, I thought this was brilliant. And just look at the results. This is from a single two pass sets, so one trip up and one down. This is the sort of swirling we had to start with. Is there? Getting the focus in there. Uh, and it was it was light to moderate, I would say. And then this is the sort of clarity we've been able to achieve after just one pass, which is all I really do in, uh, in the enhancement details. So to get that level of correction for that effort is fantastic. And that's all down to this gear driven force rotation polisher. So I'm going to do a bit more of that and let you uh, sit back and watch me uh, crack on for a little bit. I'm moving around the back now. This may seem a bit more, more of the same in terms of footage, but I really wanted to show this as there's lots of different surface shapes and textures here, um, I guess, or contours, maybe a better way of putting it. And it demonstrates so well how the force rotation polisher deals with all of these changes in surface texture and shape. Uh, it doesn't stall out, so you can just use that one machine to do a lot more. However, here's an area of concern. This wasn't caused by me. This, as you can see in the center of frame here, there's a slight cloudiness um, in the reflection. Something has rubbed against this part of the uh, rear wing. I think it's a foam pad the owner puts up against it so the doesn't, op doesn't open the door from his other car into it. Anyway, bit of marring there. And uh, I just want to show you with one hit again from um, this incredible combination and the results we get from it.
Right, with the polishing complete, it's time to get on with the coating. So the first job I'm going to do is coating the plastics, and I'm using Geon Trim for that. Now a perennial problem here is the um, scuffle pans on these Porsches really do suffer. So uh, it's been a massive improvement there. Now I'm uh, going to be waterproofing the roof with Fabsil Gold. So first thing is do is hoover it off and uh, then apply the Fabsil with a paintbrush. Now whilst I'm giving the interior of Hoover, you can see that torch I've got on my head that is incredible it's by scan grip and it is a paint inspection light so that's the quality that you're getting but it just gives you brilliant light wherever you're working so there's a link to that below um, you can get it on amazon it's usually about 50 pounds but you can often get it on ebay for about 25 so links to both of those below and the cleaning product i'm using here well that's infinity wax interior detailer i have to say really really impressed with that product you can use it on every surface and it does do a good job of cleaning the leather you're going to see in a minute just the uh, the quality of the finish it left behind if it's heavily soiled this is not a good product for it but this wasn't so it's ideal for doing a lightly soiled interior So a quick dust off with the microfiber duster and then an IPA wipe down before applying the coating. And the coating this time is Infinity Wax Synergy 2. It is an incredibly easy and effective coating. Uh, it's really, really straightforward to apply. You've got plenty of working time. It levels really nicely. If you find high spots, you can come back with your damp applicator um, and then just level it back off again, with, even within like 10, 15 minutes. It, it works really well. It's also got the sacrificial layer, um, I guess the waterproof protection built into it. So while it cures, you don't have to put a topper on, on it. And that's a, a real, real improvement over some of the other products on the market really friendly to do outsides as well but yeah it's nice to do it in a covered environment when i've done the front here and this footage has been sped up four times it only took me about three and a half minutes we can swing around to the back because you get a, an idea a real idea of what the color of this car is really looking like now with a bit of sun on it as well um and then finally when you'll see me uh kind of putting some coating on the rubber mats that's actually garage therapy dash serum because uh, it's absolutely fine it's non-slip it's just a conditioner so I'm putting those on the rubber mats making them look good and we go for a look at some afters Well, thank you as always for taking the time to watch this and I will see you in the next one. Or maybe you can go and watch one of these. What do you reckon? <laughs>